Hello, Captain Ari Oz, and welcome to uh, Captain Boeing Channel. This is the name of the channel, and we, it's very honored to have you here on this uh, nice place. And uh, we like to talk about uh, the special flight that you did a long time ago, which on your 747 you carried 1,087. Which later on become 1,088. That's what Google said. Uh, on this special flight, um, those days. So, how is the feeling to carry on board to be uh, responsible for a life of more than 1,000 people behind you? Well, uh, I don't think. I do not recall that I paid much thought about the, peop um, the people I'm carrying. Uh, I gave the authorization to bring everybody on board until there was not an inch of floor space. And, and I gave an order to keep the cockpit completely sterile. Nobody in the cockpit. And then my concentration was about the airplane, the flight, and the safety of the passengers. Not the quantity, but the safety of the passengers. Um, I was aware that we don't have seatbelts for the passengers. I was aware that we don't have fire. Um, that we don't have oxygen, oxygen for everybody. For everybody. Uh, so we flew the airplane very, very gentle and at 25,000 feet. In, why 25,000 feet? That in case of an emergency decompression, we'll be able to reach 14,000 feet, which is the altitude where people can breathe without oxygen, within one minute or maybe one and, and 15 seconds. So I felt completely safe. Uh, the only thing which bothered me until this very day. Okay, interesting. That nobody paid any interest in what I am doing and what kind of uh, responsibility I am taking upon myself. They left it to the captain. Uh, Captain, any special events you had on this special flight? Yes. While we were waiting for our departure time uh, at Ben Gurion Airport, we were still with El Al in Signals. And um, the load sheet arrived and I was about to sign the load sheet. And you know, once you sign the load sheet, you have to reset the trim. Right? Okay? Of course. So I'm trying to reset the trim. It doesn't work. Wow. And uh, we checked all the circuit breakers. If I remember, it's come from a two and three, two and three hydraulic system. We have Correct. one, uh, correct, one, two, correct. three, four, right? Okay. Correct. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, but you can reset the trim manually. Okay. So I said this is a, a, a life-saving mission. Of course. So forget about the trim, and the electrical trim, and let's reset it with our... Manual. Manually. The flight engineer said... Captain Oz, he said, I'm not sure that you are authorized to do it. Let us check in the, uh, in the books. There is a book called MEL, Minimum, Minimum equipment. equipment List. And we checked it and it said that you can do it under two conditions. One, you cannot fly with an autopilot. Okay. And two, um, 
you can do it in order to bring the airplane back to home, your home base. Okay. But you need a authorization of a supervisor. So first of all, I said to myself, I'm a supervisor, I'm the chief of operation. So that's, in, that's okay. And the return to, to a home base, okay, we're going to Addis Ababa, but the main purpose is to, to return come home. to a home base. Um, and then uh, somebody from the Air Force came aboard and said, you are mobilized from this very moment. You are mobilized to participate in this airlift under the authorization of the Air Force. So now you are under Air Force regulation and not so civil. So now I am air, under Air Force regulation, correct. And then I said to the crew, look, I don't think there is anybody in the Air Force who knows the 747 better than yeah. I do. Of course. And think that I am a high-ranking officer, Lieutenant Colonel. I hereby give myself the authorization. <laughs> to fly the airplane and then the flight engineer was very he asked he was very inquiring he said don't you have to advise anybody to tell anybody I said no I'm in charge I don't ask anybody and it, it, it takes it takes guts you know I know you are I... a captain you know it it's amazing so I made quite a lot of decisions on this trip back and forth which you normally don't take like uh, flying at 25,000 feet like uh, flying without an autopilot uh, resetting trim manually and so on but we did it so captain uh, there was in this in that flight you departed uh, more than 1,000, and that was, of course, a Guinness record. I never heard about no aeroplane that flew with so many passengers ever. And this is also, if you look for in Google, if you look for max passengers in one flight, you will find uh, this uh, special uh, flight you guys uh, did on that operation, which is amazing. And uh, the thing here that there was a child born while the flight. Yeah, there was a child born. <coughs> um, what can I say? <laughs> you, are, you, are, you have to fly the plane. Okay, so no, I just think about it, so it's amazing. If you departed with, let's say, 1087 or 88, and then now one child is born, so you actually break the Guinness record Twice you break the Guinness record correct. of yourself. Because <laughs> yeah, uh, you are correct. So Captain Arios, it's really was a great honor to meet you and to talk to you and to learn from you. It's really you are a great captain and I'm so happy to have this opportunity to talk to you. Can I shake your Sa hand? Thank you very much. Thank you so I much. I appreciate it and I enjoyed it. Perfect. So we are happy. Thank you.